Hello there. This video, we are going to talk about how to fix Seagate firmware break problem step by step. This picture shows the items we need to fix the firmware break problem. 1. Hard drive power supply with SATA power port and an on and off switch on it. We need to use this power supply to turn hard drive on or off independently. 2. Formula brick fix kit. 3. Computer. Hard drive preparation. This picture shows steps to insert an isolator between the PCB read write contacts and the hard drive. Step 1. Remove the PCB. Step 2. Locate the read-write contacts. Step 3. Cover the read-write contacts. Step 4. Put the PCB back with one screw on it. This picture shows the ports on the Seagate hard drive printing circuit board. This picture shows the Seagate hard drive RS232 port pin out. This picture shows how to connect the firmware fixed kit RS232 port to the hard drive RS232 port. This picture shows how to connect the kit with the problem hard drive and the computer. Caution. The computer and the power supply must be off while doing this connection. Connection 1. The kit RS232 port to the hard drive RS232 port. Connection 2. The hard drive power supply SATA power cable to the hard drive. Connection 3. The kit USB port to the computer USB port. This picture shows how to install the driver. Go to www.silabs.com to download the driver to install it to your computer. For this demo case, we use Windows 10. After you install the driver, a new COM port should show up in the device manager. For this demo case, it shows COM8, which is the port name to be used in hyperterminal software. For your computer, the name may be different. There are a lot of hyperterminal software available. For this demo case, we use the hyperterminal software from the Windows XP. This picture shows the location of hyperterminal software in Windows XP. This is the screenshot of hyperterminal software from the Windows XP. It may different from your computer. This picture shows how to select the firmware fix kit port in your hyperterminal software. This picture shows how to set up the RS232 port in the hyperterminal software. Now we are ready to work on the hard drive. Turn on the hard drive power supply and wait for the hard drive to stop spinning. Press Ctrl Z, a prompt F3T will show up. Type in backslash 2 and enter key. Type in the capital letter Z and the enter key. This picture shows how to pull out the isolator. While pulling out the isolator, we must keep the power cable and the RS232 cable be connected. After pulling out the isolator, we screw in at least three screws to secure the board to the hard drive. In the hyperterminal software window, type in capital letter U and enter.
type in backslash one, enter, type in capital letter N one and enter. Turn off the hard drive power supply. Wait about 60 seconds and then turn on the hard drive power supply. Press Ctrl Z. A prompt F3T will show up in the hyper terminal software window. In the hyper terminal software window, input the command exactly same as the screen shows. After 15 to 30 seconds, you should see something like below in the wide window. Please do not turn off the hard drive until you see this message. Once you see this message, you can turn off the hard drive and put the hard drive into your computer to test it. If it works, congratulations, you fix the hard drive. If not, that means the hard drive got the problem beyond the firmware break. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button below and subscribe my channel. For any question, please go to hdd-parts.com or email us hddparts at gmail.com or text me at 604-762-6359. We are more than happy to help you.